antibiotic resistant superbugs found in shrimp. How many have heard, have heard this? How many of you like shrimp? Okay, then you need to hear this. Here's a study. Shrimp containing antibiotic resistant bacteria found in Canadian grocery stores. So would they be found in U.S. grocery stores? Yes, they would. Here's what you need to know. This is a serious threat. Antibiotic resistance has been called one of the biggest global threats by the World Health Organization with an estimated 70,000 people dying globally every year from antibiotic resistant bacteria. I ran into someone in the last month who lost her arm by getting a scratch on her arm in the kitchen and getting one of these antibiotic resistant bugs in there. So here's a study. 41 frozen shrimp products tested from major grocery stores and some of these were even organic and certified products. And what did they find? Nine of the products, 17% were found to be carrying antibiotic resistant bacteria. So what that means is they get a petri dish with antibiotic material in there and then they put this bacteria in there and it should not grow unless antibiotics don't phase it. And here's E. coli and here are Staph aureus and then there's one called ESBL. Now what that bacteria has the ability to do is produce enzymes that make antibiotics not work. Now here's the really bad news. This specific one can train other ba bacteria to have that same ability. And there were more bacteria in the, in the culture medium. They went a little farther. They took these shrimp and then put something on them so they could track them with a light. And they sent some people home to carefully cook these, the, these shrimp, knowing that they had some contamination in them. Ever see the crime shows where it lights up when you put the light on? Well, that's what happened. They found them on the counters, on their hands, on others' hands who had nothing to do with the prep, and on their salad. So what should you do? Number one, no farm fish or shrimp. I want you to caught, get, use wild caught fish and gulf shrimp if you're going to eat shrimp. I want you to use caution with prep of these foods. The same thing has to do with chicken. Be careful where you, where you prep it and don't contaminate other sur surfaces. And most importantly, I want you to maintain your defense system. We talk about that in the seven systems plan in chapter six. This system must be working correctly with all of the superbugs that are out there.